When an icebreaker returns to port, it's the end of a stint at sea for some of its crew and a beginning for others. The crews of Finland's icebreakers live all over the country, and a few take advantage of their uninterrupted stretches of time off to live in other countries, warmer ones. During the winter months, the Contios crew work on a rotor of 20 days on the ship, 10 days at home. It's important, therefore, for the ship to feel like home. That's more possible than it used to be. Shipboard Wi-Fi keeps crew in daily touch with families that their forebears wouldn't see for weeks at a time. I'm almost every day having video call with my wife and my kids and I think it's much easier also to kids because they can talk with me and my wife told me that kids they, they are more relaxed when we talk because they a little bit feel like I'm part of the family and I'm there because they can see my picture and hear my voice and it's much easier when you don't need to be totally out from their lives whole three weeks. The Contio's cosy cabins all have their own TVs and DVD players. The ship has a small library of films and books. Longer serving crew reflect that these more customizable amusements have come at something of a cost to shipboard camaraderie. There are now few, if any, hearty sea shanty sing-alongs. A lot of people like to sit in front of their computers on their free time and it's not so much social life anymore. Before, they played guitars and sang and uh, had a lot of parties, of course, in the old days. We had the projector, the reel, once a week on a Saturday. Yeah, everybody gathered in the day room and we watched the movie once a week. And there was no satellite navigation on board. It was very different in the 70s. Most of Contio's crew work six-hour watches. Some take 6 a.m. to midday and 6 p.m. to midnight, others midday to 6 p.m. and midnight to 6 a.m. Engineers do 12 hours on, 12 hours off, keeping Contio's four mighty motors running. In general, when crew members aren't working, they're asleep. One of the few opportunities for communal relaxation is mealtime. The food aboard Contio is consistently outstanding, hearty insulation against the conditions in which the ship has to operate. This is one of the like most anticipated moments of all the dinners and the time that everyone just gathers around here and just like it sure does bring kind of joy and just like if you have a bad day and you get like some of your favorite foods, like pizza, and it just hits the spot, then it's like awesome. It's gonna make it like everyone's day. Finland's icebreakers ultimately work for the state and sail beneath the Finnish flag. Non Finns are not permitted to serve on icebreakers. But the atmosphere on board is very much civilian rather than military. There is a general sense of egalitarian cooperation. There's been a generation change. Younger guys get higher positions, it's uh, getting more modern, the uh, system of teaching other guys. It, it used to be that not, not that you get uh, promoted, you need to know what to do, even though no one had taught you anything. It used to be a bit like that, but uh, these days it's uh, trying to train as, as many as we can so that when, when a really bad winter comes, we have enough, enough people who can operate the vessel. Nevertheless, someone has to be in charge. An icebreaker captain has the privilege of setting his own hours, as well as the privilege of a large forward-facing cabin. In return, an icebreaker captain accepts ultimate responsibility for a ship which routinely faces hazards that occur only in the nightmares of most sailors. Captain is the legal scapegoat. Yeah. Secondly, captain is also the leader. Every, every group of people need a leader. And thirdly, I'm here to support the crew in, the, in their work. And we have a very good crew on Kondia. The ship runs by itself. I don't do much. And that's a testament to the crew. But all seafaring is tough work, which is why it tends to be done by tough people. Some of Contio's crew seem especially impervious to the conditions. Most people would walk its decks in at least two pairs of socks. 
Though there are compensations to life aboard Contio, comfortable lodgings, terrific food and long summer holidays, it nevertheless involves, for the deckhands especially, a deal of heavy lifting in often brutal conditions. At the times of year that Contio goes to sea, outdoor temperatures approaching minus 30 degrees Celsius are not unusual. It's still a job that most icebreaker crews seem content to do until retirement, and most seem in no hurry for that. I'm thinking of retiring, I think when I'm 65, because I feel quite good in my body and I, I, I have enough holiday six months a year, so it's more than enough. I do the gym a lot and uh, when I'm on holiday I like to swim and walk and I do quite a lot of exercise here. Yeah. I need healthy food. Contio's working environment is not entirely desolate, however. Even in the depths of winter, signs of life are visible. Footprints left by rabbits, deer and foxes in the snow on top of the ice. Eagles and crows casting silhouettes against the whiteness. Even occasional anglers fishing from holes in the ice, cut next to where they've parked their snowmobile or even their car. In spring, the crew were treated to seals by the hundred, and at least once in Contio's history, its crane has been used to rescue a drowning moose. As for the eternal fundamentals of what icebreakers do, there remains a big clue in the name. While most icebreaking is preventive path clearing, the most dramatic part of an icebreaker's work is riding to the rescue of ships which have become trapped. This is more than mere inconvenience to the crew and a delay to the delivery of the ship's cargo. The pressure of converging flows can cause ice to climb the sides of a ship. Contio frees Furevik, a scarlet-hulled Swedish cement carrier, by smashing through the ice alongside it, the ship's only metres apart. This is a difficult job, and when you can handle a difficult job, it, it gives you satisfaction. You have to be a bit, not crazy, but you have to like to manoeuvre a vessel, you have to like to assist other vessels with, with, with this big icebreaker. And you can do it, because this is built for that, it's fun. It's demanding, but it's really nice when you can handle it. Finland needs its icebreakers, but these ships are more than just tools for keeping ports open. Not for nothing is another ship in Arctia's icebreaker fleet called Sisu, named after the word Finns use for their own idealised national character, a creed of stoic, unfussy determination. Contio's work, much like a Finnish winter's night, seems unlikely to end. For Monocle, in the Gulf of Bothnia, I'm Andrew Muller.